there was a little article in the Wall Street Journal called Barack Obama Refounding Father. This is from last Thursday. And it says the central feature of Mr. Obama's rewrite of what one might call the Founding Fathers' original vision has been to abolish Congress. Yes, the 535 men and women elected to Congress still show up at the Capitol building as they have since November of 1800. But once past the passage of Obamacare and Dodd-Frank, the 44th president effectively rejected Congress from its historic function. If you put the president behind the wheel of a car in front of the White House, the odds are he cannot even find the Congress. So, in fact, what we have is a situation where it is no longer the traditional Republicans and Democrats. What we now have is a situation that is you and I as individual citizens, and even the state of Texas, is having to go against our own elected representatives in Washington. And this indeed is very sad. But the fact is, that is what's happening. We have a situation that um, these guys are out of control, and the president is out of control, and we are simply not doing anything about it. You might even say that we've arrived at a situation where the philosophy of this Congress, Republican-led Congress, is to do nothing until there is nothing left to do.